Rory McIlroy's anxiety has finally manifested, and he must now make the most important professional decision. There is a crucial characteristic of McIlroy, his inability to stick to golf. In 2022, when McIlroy was chosen to represent the PGA Tour in its conflict with LIV Golf, in addition to competing at the greatest level possible on the golf course, he spoke out in support of the tour more often than anybody else and utilized his position to significantly alter its organizational structure. At least three hats were being worn by him, yet strangely, his performance didn't seem to decrease. True, he suffered a single heartbreak when he failed to win the Open Championship at Street Andrews, but he also had three victories, including the Tour Championship at end of the year as the no one golfer in the world. Mitzelroy always responded with the same response to inquiries. This is who I am. I function in a fundamentally multitasking manner and actually gives me energy to engage in press interviews and be so involved in every facet of professional golf. The outcomes made it simple to believe him. After a few months, circumstances are shifted. Mitzelroy has continued to win tournaments because he is simply too talented to fail to do so, but he missed the cut at both the players and the masters and then forfeited $3 million by skipping the RBC Heritage, his second elevated event of the season. Can it be surprising when things catch up with you? Because looking from the outside, the most stressful period would have been last summer, or something like that. But can these things that you commit to, you almost like soldier through, and then all of a sudden, it can hit you? There's like a lag, right? I think so, because at that point you're running off of adrenaline a little bit as well, and you're in a certain mindset. So if you look at, like last year I won the FedEx Cup, I went and played Wentworth and Italy to try to support the tour over there, then played CA Cup, then Dubai, and it was like I never really gave myself that time to sort through everything, to sort of reset and reassess everything and, and start the year like really fresh. It's not the goal side of things, if you had nothing else going on in your life, you could play every week there is to play and be totally fine but it's just all the other stuff that was going on around the game of golf and being right in the middle of it. It sort of took its toll and yeah, everything just sort of caught up with me this last month or so.